cop your two six king wavy merch link is down in the description below click the link is gonna take you over to the website use discount code 360 juice 26 for 26 percent off your brushes and do rags and for your hair care products use discount code 360 juice 2020 to get 10 percent off stay wavy juice mafia god bless <laughs>my channel it's your boy 360 juice i'm back with another video for y'all as y'all can already see by the title of this video you already know what i'm going to be talking about today with you guys all right first of all thank you guys for clicking this video if you're not already subscribed to the channel please smash that subscribe button for your boy and be part of the family enjoy the video Welcome back guys, hope you guys enjoyed the intro, let's get straight into it. Should you wet your hair, it could be in the shower, it could be in the rain, it could be whenever, whatever, going to the pool, this and that, should you wet your hair? First things first, water is your hair's worst enemy when it comes to waving or when it comes to styling your hair when you style your hair you don't want to get it wet all right first thing first um when you go in the shower you should not go in the shower without your hair being covered you can have a, a bonnet on you can have a do-rag on you could be double compressed when you go in the shower a lot of y'all take hot showers and i would definitely advise you to double compress because even if you just have one do-rag on your hair will still be frizzy now if you have no do-rag on you can say bye bye to progress you can say bye bye to your hair being laid everything because your hair is going to just be frizzed up and then you're going to most likely lose progress because you probably won't lose motivation to brush because after you wash your hair in the shower, it's gonna be really, really hard to lay down your hair, especially if you're wolfing. Only possible way that you might be able to lay down your hair, but you most likely will, is to do a washing style. And nobody wants to do a washing style after they just came out the shower and everything. Just too much work. But once you step in the shower, you should not go in there without your do-rag on. Keep your do-rag on, double compress at that because you most likely take a shower with hot water. Now, another exception besides the washing style when you should be wetting your hair is sweat. If you go to the gym, double compress, man. Double compress because once you sweat, you don't have your do-rag on, your hair will frizz up and eventually lead to loss of progress. All right, so keep your do-rag on, double compress, and after you finish with the gym, let your hair dry before you do a brush session because if you don't let your hair dry and you start brushing, your hair still will be frizzed up and it's gonna be really hard to lay that down. So after you finish from the gym, you sweat and everything, let your hair dry before you actually do a brush session. So basically, guys, the answer to your question is do not, do not, do not, wet your hair go in the shower with a do-rag go to the pool with a do-rag if you're serious about waving go to the pool keep your do-rag on go to the beach keep your do-rag on just don't wet your hair anyways y'all this was a quick video thank you guys for watching hopefully this video was helpful to you guys sharing my knowledge with y'all thank you guys for supporting me if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like comment if you're new to the channel don't forget to smash that subscribe button for your boy and i'll see you guys in my next video peace